This is my 2016 Tundra. It has a 5.7 liter V8 in it. It has an issue that a lot of Tundras have, which is that uh, at lower RPMs, it has a real high pitched whistle. It almost sounds like an electronic whine from like a stereo or something. And the cause of it is a gasket that has a little mesh in it that sits between the throttle body and the intake tube. And we're gonna fix that by replacing that gasket with a gasket that does not have the mesh in it. To do this, all we have to do is remove the, this, this heat shield thing here. This is the throttle body right here. And this is the intake tube. And you can actually see the top of the gasket right here. We're gonna take, this is the gasket with the mesh in it. You can see this has the, the same end on it. So we'll, we'll take out these four bolts to separate the throttle body from the intake here. Uh, we'll pull this gasket out, we'll swap it out, and we'll put the bolts back in. And that should fix the whistle. All right, first thing we're gonna do is just get this air box loose, pull on these two tabs here, and use the 10 millimeter socket, or ratchet and loosen, loosen that a little bit. That allows you to pull this, pull this up. It's a little snug, but pull that away. And there's your throttle body. And we just need to remove. These four bolts. Separate the throttle body a little bit and pull this gasket out in there. That's what's causing the whistle. Uh, you can get cheap if you want and just cut that mesh out and make sure you get everything out of there so nothing gets sucked in the engine. Or this part is only a couple dollars online. I think I gave 10 bucks for it, maybe on Amazon or something. Just double check and make sure it goes in the right way. There's a good groove here that it fits inside. Make sure it gets all the way in. So it doesn't get pinched. And that's all there is to it. Put the four bolts back in, torque them to 10 pounds. Put everything back together. Make sure when you torque it, you do just like you would your lug nuts on your car and do evenly, corner to corner. I'll just run them all in first and then torque them down. Great, once they are all torqued, then simply slide that back on. There's a little stopper there. Put 
the butt down and then tighten your hose clamp here. Okay, let's go test it.